Hello and welcome everyone to my channel. This is your sharing doctor, Dr. Daisy K. What I'll be sharing with you today is a concern of many people, not only in the Philippines, not only in the United States, but all over the world. You see, many people are concerned when their cholesterol are elevated. Some even are concerned when their cholesterol reaches 200 milligrams. But I usually tell them that before the Second World War, the normal cholesterol level was actually pegged at 230 milligrams. It was changed after World War II. Now, it is not just elevated cholesterol that is important, but we should watch out for lowered cholesterol because that could also impact our health. You see, cholesterol is essentially needed by our bodies. Cholesterol is very important in providing support to the synapse of the brain so that our brain will fire faster. It is also responsible for the production of bile acids, sex hormones, and for the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins, like, for example, vitamin A, vitamin E, and vitamin D, which is very important for blood circulation and also for protection of our cells. It is also responsible as an ambulance of our bodies. So cholesterol, whether they are HDL or what you call good cholesterol or LDL, what is considered as bad cholesterol, they should have a critical balance. Balance is the word, but there is a kind of cholesterol that is not being minded by most doctors and other health professionals. And this is called the oxycholesterol or oxidized cholesterol. You see when LDL cholesterol, for example, is oxidized, that means that they have been assaulted by free radicals. And this oxidized cholesterol or oxycholesterol can plummet your good cholesterol meaning to say they could lower your good cholesterol or your HDL and that is very harmful to our cells. Another problem with oxidized cholesterol is it also oxidizes your LDL cholesterol. And that's the reason why doctors and other health professionals should also be watching for the numbers of oxidized cholesterol in the blood. There are some supplements which are prescribed to lower cholesterol level. Glycetin is one supplement that is prescribed for lowering oxycholesterol. But the problem with lecithin is that it does not provide the critical balance needed between the HDL and the LDL. Aside from that, lecithin can also have serious side effects, like for example, vomiting, nausea, and diarrhea. The other supplement is Niacin. Niacin can also lower your cholesterol and triglyceride levels. And it's good, but there are some side effects too of it. One is it can cause skin flushing and other irritations. The other supplement is the red yeast rice. 
it can lower oxycholesterol. Elevated oxycholesterol can be lowered by red yeast rice. But the problem with red yeast rice is that it can also lower your CoQ10 level, COQ10 level, which is very important for heart health. And it can also mess up with your liver enzymes. So these are some of the problems among um, the common supplements that are being prescribed for lowering elevated cholesterol. So what should be the natural remedy for oxidized cholesterol and for providing critical balance of the HDL and the LDL cholesterol. Number one is dark colored grapes or red wine. Actually, red wine is made from dark colored grapes. And these red grapes or black grapes or red wine are very rich in resveratrol and they are very good in providing balance between HDL and LDL. The other natural remedy for cholesterol imbalance is green tea. Green tea has compounds called polyphenols and they are very good in providing the critical balance between HDL and LDL. Aside from that, this green tea can block free radicals from oxidizing cholesterol or the LDL. And also, they can reverse the oxidized cholesterol into an oxidized cholesterol. The other natural remedy for cholesterol problem is polycosanol. Polycosanol is also very important if you have elevated cholesterol because they can actually lower down your cholesterol up to the normal level. You have to watch it out. Normal level is 200 milligrams. When it is below 200 milligrams, it could be problematic. And polycosanol, you can take two tablets or two capsules a day, which provides you with 20 milligrams of polycosanol. I hope this contributed to the information that you may have had, and this could somehow clear some confusion in so far as cholesterol levels, cholesterol problems are concerned. Thank you once again and hope to see you in my next video. God bless you.